Hey everyone, this is at the memory card thing and go. Hey everyone, Dante here, and welcome back to this game of Faculty Pro Fire. Um, last episode we did stuff. This episode we did stuff. Now let's keep going and stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> this is at the uh, huh? I don't know why I does that, but whatever. Yes. I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do wrong, so. So, this happened before you could hear what she wanted? Yeah. Uh, uh, Princess D Delanda? Wait, so Bitch Pudding was. Oh, Bitch and Pudding was Princess Delanda? Didn't know that. What's going on? Well. The one supposed to be a man named Gold Roger. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know she came in disguise to hire me for a job. So with his leg. Like he got shot or something in his leg. Um, she's very proud. Dad. Huh? Talk with her asleep, eh? Dad. Foul Oathbreaker. Ten thousand deaths are not enough for you. Huh? Like you serious? <sighs> So that's it. I can understand now. I insulted that girl's father right in front of her. What's funny is I expected this to be like me doing a voice. Of course, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to show what a gutless coward the king is. Yeah. What I did wasn't wrong. It was right. And for the best. For but. the country. Oh, there's always a butt. A long butt, too. But a daughter can't help but love and honor her own father. Well, I, I can't say the that because I'm not a Is girl. Is there any child that would not feel anger at seeing their sire made a fool of? Yes. Hmm. <gasps> Where am I? It's over the evening. Yeah, it is. I have to go. Oh, is it okay if I come back tomorrow to make my offer? Uh, yeah, sure. And Prince. Well, uh, oh gosh. Um, the lady left a job offer, huh? Probably some sort of revenge for what I did to her father. Guy, make it sound like he castrated him or something. When she comes tomorrow, I'll apologize to her. What the hell? Bad rock. Oh, bottle rock. Bad roach. You're late. I named him Bad Roach. So, what's your offer for this time? It's hurt notice, but I need you to help another man deliver. What? Give me a break. You waste my time for that. Come on. The pay is top price. So, will you take it? Man, they look like they're selling drugs or some shit. <laughs> they just carbo, yeah? Yeah, drugs. Well, I'll take it. I want 5000 My price has doubled. Fine. It's a deal. Serious? Well, if you say so. By the way, who's the other guy you got me teamed up with? You meet? You meet soon enough. Hmm. Bye. Like a nun. You know, I said she's an agent, but she was like a freaking nun. I, I should not. That guy's up to. As long as I get my money, I can care less. Yeah. I want my money, and I want it now. 
the next day. Yeah, I am definitely going to be um doing a bit of uh, a <laughs> mini voices in this one. Uh, I keep forgetting the chain tape. Damn, I can't change it. Fuck. It's getting annoying too. The process has a coming issue. Probably not. What if you think about the princess being out of the castle? Yeah, I suppose. If she keeps sticking out, she's gonna get her attendance executed. Yeah. Some conversationalist. No, honestly, that's me in real life too. Like, yeah, I know. To outside. To Argrim's house. And I'm strong in the streets. So, I guess I gotta go. I wonder. Why haven't I go back in here after the whole devil cool with the food? Good day. Well, I guess I paid for my food. <laughs> As considering what happened last time. So, am I supposed to go to the castle or keep running and running and running? I never know. Go to the chapel. Maybe if I pray about it, it'll be okay. Oh, the villain arm comes this way. This whole time he wiped out. Sorry, Grandma. Oh, my God, now let's pray. See, praying works. Sometimes. Not really. Um. Or I'm going here, but. The other day, I opened up the treasure chest and some poison gas shot up at me. Luckily, I was crouching down, so I didn't do anything except give me a big scare. Well, see. Number uno. Number uno. Always sneak and grab things. Haven't you played Final Fantasy? Uh, I mean, not Final Fantasy, on um, Dragon Quest? Oh, that's on Main Street. Uh, let's see here. To where? Okay, now I'm confused already. This is making me mad now. But, uh, So yeah, knowing me, I go through each and every crevice of everything to figure out where I gotta go. Lately, many ill ill omen things have been happening in Arthelia. Man, this game just took me right out into the wilderness. Like, what am I supposed to do? I don't even know. They just feel like, here, play this game, and I hope you have fun, because you are in the wilderness now. I hope it's just as simple as leave and come back in. I can only go like, you know, like back and forth. I mean, side by side, like a side scroller. Probably it's an inn or something. To outside. Um, hey. I wonder what lilac means in the language of flowers. Bah, who cares about flowers anyway? God, are they, she high? What does that like means in flower language? I would say poof. Or I mean Why? How can you defend an old man? Why don't you stay for tea? Not to your other my grandkids. Sorry, grandpa. I don't wanna know about about one of your great 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 grandkid Billy. Finally, you learn how to ride his bike because he didn't. He was too afraid to ride his bike, and blah, 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 blah. so I guess I'm going back in here. There's nothing for me to do, brother. You have a visitor. Hmm? I need to speak with you. Uh. Is this about a job? This is the end of my business, Roland. Yeah. Did you take it? Roland, why are you so nosy? Why? I'll, I leave tomorrow morning. We'll be alone again for a few days. 
hell about the princess? Dude, he is annoying. <laughs> Cancelled. Probably. Ah, what was it, Garrett? Bat Roach! Whoa! This is something. Some of a surprise. My partner's gonna be you then, huh? Oh, I'm gonna give me that. The name's Bat Roach. Nice to meet ya, Arn Grim. I've heard all about ya. If you let's engage in such meaningless blather, do it on the road. This cargo must be delivered. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna walk up. Milnor was about a week's journey away along the Great Road. But the journey was uneventful, and by the third day we were halfway there. Halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! Oh, sorry. I'm getting plenty of money for this job, so you really care what's in the thing. You do bad rules. And Mr. Bodyguard? <sighs> I feel the same arm, bro. Ah, that lump bears. Or that Lambert. Lambert, you gonna bear? Our double is chief counselor? You mean it wasn't that agent who hired us? Hey, bodyguard, something's coming up behind you. Mm -hmm. What? Knights! I got something! Knights! The dust looked to have been kicked up by a group of Altorian cavalry. It seemed like they were chasing something, but I never imagined it was us. Oh my gosh, the over enunciation of this. <laughs> halt! Surrender your cargo for inspection! Hey, hold up! When I think about it now, I never should have agreed to take that package without knowing what was inside. Yeah, that's number it one. It just wasn't like me. And now you die. These are the ones. Let's get out of here. Hey, hold a sec. Huh? What the hell? Are you serious? Our parcel? It was that little tomboy princess. Ah, our bitch. Bitch Roundy Pudding, but I digress. Her name is Bitch Ramsey Pudding. Looks like we have to wait tonight and run. Uh. Hmm. Damn that Lambert. He totally screwed this. You filthy. You knew? No. I didn't. I didn't know what was in the damn thing. It is my. That my uh, client was Lambert, like always, and. Did those soldiers know that Lambert? Huh? No way, it can't be. They got the villain or a spy, you know? What? Nobody was supposed to know what was in that thing, man. If Villano got his hand, their hands on a princess, they have Artelia in the palm of their hand. You know? Yeah. I'd have been quite happy to kill a stinking knave, but I've got more important <laughs> things to do. <laughs> okay, I got it. I. Oh my God! It... The captain told us he had read this medicine and he got from on bird. Isn't that the princess? 
Lombard was playing two hands. Fuck Longbell. He knew the abduction would be discovered, so he sent some medicine along with the search party. If we made it all the way to Vilnor, no problem. But if we were discovered, the cavalry would use the medicine. So... He knew the princess would be unconscious if she was found. The medicine's effect was as you see. The princess became a monster, and afterwards all were dead. Perhaps even the princess. That's exactly what I have for someone who drinks ghoul powder. Ghoul powder? Yeah. It turned our first into a howling demon. Hence the name, you idiot. Necromancers use this stuff all the time. Lumber is a necromancer? Angela. Angela? You mean Jolanda? What are you talking about? It's having a bad heart, Sylvia. I'm getting out of here. Maybe he made the right choice. But I wasn't going to run. Yeah, that's messed up, yo. Even on the field of battle, I've never felt like this. Lombard! I'm going to kill you. I want to offer the Japanese. What will become of Jolanda? Okay, who it is? Stop! Let's... Human, life is not something to be thrown away. If you're a true warrior, you will find your own path in the, in the maelstrom of battle. Battle Who hadn't heard the tales of the endless war the gods waged with the creatures of darkness? No. Come to me, dark warriors. Battle awaits us. Okay. That was nothing. He ain't got three people now. Um. Dude, Freya's off that 6,079. What the heck, man? Damn. Um. I wonder. I'll do this. Yeah. Oh no, it didn't work how I thought it would. It's OP as hell, yo. Yeah. Bye bye. What well, sucked? I had a. Hope I didn't kill Jolanda. God dang it, now I've got a fashion for her. Battle is my greatest pleasure. Not that kind of a fashion, folks. But this that way. was different. You think it's foolish, brother, because you're content with what you have. You're wrong. Very wrong. It was through others' misfortune that I felt myself to be strong. That's right. I was myself without morals. Damn. Who was I to judge others? 
who was I to look down on them? Injustice. I began to realize that the king and I were very much the same. Well, I mean, you didn't, you know, poison your daughter. So, yeah. So she's dead now? That sucks. No more bitch pudding. Rest in peace, bitch pudding. Episode 1, episode 2. Oh, that's right. He's not the what you call it. I don't know why I would think he was the king. Got it mixed up. Ah, but you might show up sooner or later. We should just run away. It will avail you nothing because of the service here, young man. Maybe not, but it is sure as hell I failed me to smash your face in. I see. Arngrim, you may be a genius on the battlefield when it comes to the higher arts. You know very little. <laughs> you realize you are already dead. What? Magic, Arngrim. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm not, I'm not screaming. There we go. Whoa. My teeth are the sin of sand. I beg of you. You must save Arngrim. Please. Save? How do you think he might be saved? By being allowed to continue to live, or by being chosen by me? Well, it's one thing that does strike me as odd. I'd believe to if he had run away, but could a human really have defeated a ghoul? I can't imagine. That's him! That's the man who betrayed me! Uh oh. Somebody get some deep doo doo. What? Ah, now nah, I you understand. We have a little conspiracy here, don't we? Conspiracy? <laughs> I hear good at expert on that subject. Oh, Coburn. The fire of souls. Your sins lay heavy upon you. Uh oh. Dude, where's his beard? In he does not have a beard normally. What the heck, yo? Yeah! I mean, he does not have a beard normally. It's like it is magically appeared. Yeah! So yeah, they had a last strike since you know. Yeah! Bye bye. Peace out, homie. Prepare yourself, rebel scum. Ah! These slipshot soldiers think they can call me rebel scum. Look, friend, don't expect me to do any favors. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I guess they don't have much use for hero for true strength up in Asgard, eh? <laughs> Vain glorious human. Strength is not everything. <laughs> you wanna talk, Death Goddess? Infinite fool. Valkyrie is not a goddess of the dark. Such words will result in your certain death. Oh, look who it is! Uh, Angela? Huh? You? You knew? <laughs> I see. So you're a safe little one. <laughs> I have one question. Aren't you just a death goddess? A god of death is merely responsible for the snuffing out of lives. I, however, can show you the path. Path? Yes. 
However, you must walk in on your own. Stop this pointless slaughter. Oh man. Arngrim, you can truly raise arms against me. Dude, he is stuck in a freaking 1200s. Why would I? Do I have any regrets? <coughs> this dude committed Harakiri. Yo. Why did you save me? Consider it a gift. It seems we'll be spending quite a bit of time together. But it does, little one. Quite a bit indeed. Fate can be indeed a cruel mistress. What is it? Nothing. Let us take leave of here. Next? Yes. Even the strongest steel must first be tempered, yes. To send him to Asgard directly will, only, will be only a death sentence. Concentrate once again. You should be able to feel the presence of the undead as well. Press start to begin the spiritual concentration. Oh, new theme. New theme. Next stop, the Artolian Mountain Ruins. Yes, I feel them. They are nearby. Let us go and see. All right, um, random, I know, but uh, how do I, well, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, we're gonna see what happens next. I uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Valkyrie Profile. Valkyrie Profile. Bye bye.